look at all these cirrus planes. I am made to be free. You know, one of the cool things about it being quite a windy day outside is that no one's really flying and everyone's plane is here in the hangar. Let's have a look. So many Cirrus aircraft in here, look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six just in, six in one hangar. Tango Papasiera isn't actually in here, but the current favorite is? Kilo Juliet November, just over, the, over there, hang on. Look. Oh man, I could spend a lot of time here, but no, I'm actually here for a purpose today. And that is something that I mentioned in the last video on this channel. I'm looking to introduce a new segment to my YouTube channel. And I've always been, I've always enjoyed all the aviation content that's out there. I've always loved watching videos from other channels. There've been some good instructional videos. It's actually taught me quite a lot about aviation in general. I kind of want to start contributing towards that a little bit more, but in a slightly different way. See, I know there's a lot of instructional content out there on the internet. There are a lot of videos that tell you how to do something, but I've always felt that when it comes to instructional content, the best way that you can learn is, is not to tell someone, but is to show. I always believe, I love this phrase, show, don't tell. And that's kind of what I want to do with this new segment on the channel. And when I mean don't tell, I'm not actually telling in terms of like standing in front of a camera for 12 minutes and talking about a subject is one thing but I've always found the best way as a pilot or as any person to be honest as a human being the best way to learn is to actually see is to see something for yourself experience it for yourself because you'll understand the subject material way better than just having someone standing in front of you and talking to you for 20 minutes and that is the purpose for setting up this new segment on the channel I wanted to that's a bit tight through there I wanted to create a new section a new segment on the channel where I can actually help show some of the VFR and IFR principles that a lot of you have been asking about as opposed to just standing here and telling you. Now one thing I should mention as well is I obviously can't do this on my own here like I said before private pilot no instructional training so there are going to be a couple of companies I'm bringing on board for this flying school series. Now the first of which a company called Air RTP which is Cirrus Training Specialist here in Moorabbin. If you've never got your private pilot's license and you want to start and you want to learn in a Cirrus. If you've already got your pilot's license and you want to do some more advanced training like IFR, high altitude stuff, uh, want to have some fun with some turbocharged aircraft, any, anything like that, whatever Cirrus training you're into Air RTP are going to be helping me with the Cirrus training components on this segment and also the other company and one that you might be familiar with from name at least is Walden Aviation Services and that's because uh, Mike Walden here who is the owner of said company is a familiar face that you would have seen on this channel how are you Mike very well thank you good to see you you too mate we've flown together many times on this channel before Mike was actually the guy who did my Cirrus Transition training. We did. We did that together mm -hmm. in Tango Delta Sierra. Why are you the guy that should be telling people that? that well, you know, it started content? back when Steph found me on a street. You know, when I was homeless. Oh no, 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 it wasn't. <laughs> no, we said we're not going to tell that <laughs> story. Tell I'm a Grade One instructor. I've been flying Cirrus for five years now as a Cirrus factory instructor, or what we call a Cirrus standard standardised instructor pilot, which is CSIP. So we are trained by the factory to teach students and teach Cirrus pilots how to really get the maximum out of their aircraft. But the main thing for us really is safety. You know, mm. we, we are there to make Cirrus pilots safer. I've got experiences um, as, a, as a chief pilot, CFI, grade one instructor, I've managed a flying school and I've also worked in the airline industry um, doing uh, working for Jetstar in flight planning and, and flight dispatch. As well as the actual flight training as well, so Mike's really big on the um, kind of the psychology in aviation as well and the, just that kind of mindset of being a good pilot and how you should think as a pilot. When you go and fly a plane you have to be in the uh, certainly in the right mindset to go and do that. You have to be mentally prepared to do it. You can do preparation. You know, I've talked about this um, several times before and that is to you know when you start a flight you should have actually started that flight several days earlier you know in preparation looking what the weather's doing looking at the runways you're going to be taking off out of you know, just so you're mentally prepared for it you know mentally 
desktop fly, the flight that you're going to do. Okay, well I'm going to an airport. How am I going to join that circuit? What's the overflow height? What's the circuit height? You know, are there any considerations? Is it left-hand circuits, right-hand circuits? All these sorts of things you can be doing, you know, days, weeks before the flight to get yourself mentally prepared. Simply making pilots safer. Love it. I love this guy. I love flying with him. That philosophy is so important and I believe in that 100%. I'm not just saying that. I totally believe with that and that's really what we're trying to do here today. So it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so now this is the point where I need your help. This is the point where I need you to give Mike and I some ideas for the type of content you want to see on Friday Flying School. Now, I know I put out the request in the last video and I got some really good responses in the comments. So they're brilliant. Thank you very much for all of those. They're helping us mold together what this segment is going to be. I know you guys want to see stuff on instrument procedures. Controlled airspace was a big one there. Um, getting inside and out of Class C, for example. But also some of the basics like how to, how to land one of these things and you know the leaning process all that kind of thing what I want from you is grab your smartphone put it on your video recording mode turn the camera to face yourself and do something like this hey there Steph my name's uh, Steph I run the flying channel Steph and Jury I'd really like to see on Friday Flying School some of the techniques you use on how you land a Cirrus record that send me the video you can either send it to me via Twitter or you can email it to me direct I'll put my details below on how you can send your videos to me then what Mike and I will do is we'll pick the subjects that we want to cover here on Friday Flying School feature your video in our videos give you guys a shout out to your social channels as well and yeah I really look forward to launching this brand new topic in this new segment on the channel very very soon thank you as always for watching I hope you're as excited about fly, fly day frying fly day frying school that could be good